Hello, ladies, gents, and shiv fueled ninjas determined to slay the spire. I am determined. Indeed. Level 17 or most. We got 16 here on the silent. The next in the rotation. Let's go in there. See if we can murder the spire and everything contained therein. What you got? What you got for a map? Actually, uh, if there's a shop early, might go for the money. Give me an upgrade before the elite. This is my my chosen path right here. Actually, not really. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting path. I don't really like it much, but uh, you know, you just choose what you gotta choose. I like this shop being kind of late. One elite, fine. Uh, that's. I mean, the thing is, floor one elite elites are the ones that I feel you can kill pre damn reliably without losing your mind. But there's just no post post chest elites and then this boy right here and i don't like that guy i don't like this seat i already don't like this seat i don't like it anyway why are we even being offered upgrade card obtain 100 gold choose a choose a rare colorless card eh just upgrade neutralize we love to upgrade neutralize it's my favorite upgrade in the entire universe not gonna have enough money for that i guess we'll just go that way because really the other paths are kind of garbage we could go full bore here and this is i think feasible but difficult this is feasible but difficult do i uh do i feel lucky do i feel like a lucky punk and then we'll go over to probably that campfire or maybe i'll just go down this way that way with the campfire before the elite maybe this way this way is way too risky but we do get the choice of campfire or or the other thing and then the three main my goodness this decision is just awful let's just go over here go over here already starting with such terrible Terrible. We'll use two of these. I will hopefully take zero damage. Oh, jeez. I forgot. I misread. And I saw a defense when it was actually a strike. Not the greatest uh, start of all time. Well, uh, we'll just throw as dam much damage as possible. It's been... Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Just give me all the defense forever. Um, it's been rough. It's still, uh, I did get some pretty successful... Nice successful runs in between you saw that i got to 17 to with everybody sneaky strike endless agony i guess the other two are like Bleh. endless agony is decent and you know it exhausts itself so uh doesn't bloat your oh this is this is good this is a great opportunity to get a relic hell yeah give me that sweet plus one dexterity both of these paths are pretty much identical. Let's go this way. I'll afford slightly more options. Look like a full-on aggro turn. Hell yeah. Do as much damage as possible. You know the drill. You know the drill. Defend that. Actually, there's nothing but defense. Pretty garbage hand, not gonna lie. That was uh, very disappointing. And I guess I'll defend in anticipation for the next turn. Thankfully, our beautifully, oddly... Smooth stone saves me one entire point of damage. Oh, hell yeah. Give me that dash. Offense and defense in the same, in the absolute same turn. Fantastic. Let's go with uh, as much defense as possible. There you go. That's right. I, for I forget. Plus one dexterity means zero damage in this pathetic grub fight. So this will murder you. And then, I ain't in no hurry. I ain't in no hurry. We'll just take another turn to destroy this filthy louse that wants me to constantly scratch at my scalp. Give me a horrible case. Ooh, backflip or a cloak and dagger. I don't think we need draw just yet, but, you know, it'll be nice. But more defense and offense on the same card. Always a great acquisition. 11, so there's another strike past that turn need to always keep in mind am i clicking the things that i want to click don't be too damn hasty is it is it 
See, it feels like the game sounds are a little too... Let me just pump that up to 50. 65, there you go. That's a little too much. Okay, 50. There you go. A little, a little more spice for our game sounds. Otherwise, it's just me screaming into the void. Do I care about any of these? I mean, I just want to cycle to dash and cloak and dagger faster. Do I want any of these? I don't think I do. Endless Agony is nice. I think Endless Agony is basically a free attack that doesn't bog down your... Yeah, we'll take another one. It's it's pretty nice to have. Oh, let's go to the... No, three cards. To the elite fight. Start with the dash, huh? That sucks. I would much rather have appreciated this in the next turn. But, uh, you know, the, it doesn't get much better than this damage. So we'll do what we're doing right now. Do as much damage as possible. And um, hope for some good draws. Cloak and dagger, hell yeah. And there's not much choice here, is there? Let's keep murdering Lagavulin. Lagavulin, I feel, he it is the hardest boss of uh, this entire... I'm just going to use all my Endless Agony. Just get them out. Get them out of my deck. And we can actually use both of these. Like I've only, I feel, is the hardest to stop from pummeling you consistently. The other two bosses, like the Guardian bosses, are the absolute easiest. Unless you get some unlucky distribution. I feel like we really need to get some more damage done here. Because otherwise we're going to be absolutely destroyed. Fucking dagger. But Lagavulin has a way of just wrecking you so hard. Those 20 damage every turn is just too much. Why does Dash come every time that he is not attacking? I, I call shenanigans here. I call shenanigans. It's absolutely terrible. Feeling <laughs> a little concerned about this lack of wounded fight. Got me really hurt. It's a shiv. Deal 4 damage. I have minus 2, so it's not enough. I have a strike. I didn't realize I had a strike. There you go. Oh, preserve insect. In insect. The absolute best. Absolute best. Skewer, backflip, cloak, and dagger. A second cloak and dagger? I think probably a backflip is a better plan for the future. There you go. So, do I feel like a lucky punk? Or do I feel like we're going to face Goblin Knob? Hmm. We could go here, heal, and then go to the buffed one. See what happens there. Let's do that. Let's rest up. Because now that we have preserved insect, uh, we want to embrace the aggression against the elites. We'll transform a strike. Sure thing. What you got, friendo? Malaise. Sure. Probably much better than having a strike. Sure, let's do it. 44 health. We can do that. Rigor, rigor, peror. Oh, this is nice. This is the best outcome. The best possible world that we could have. Have a three guardian with preserved insect. Just throw as much damage as possible to one of them. I could have actually used the fire potion. We might use it next turn. If I get enough, enough damage. We might use it. To destroy the first one. Another endless agony. All right, so we got the cloak and dagger. Man, the damage was awful. Did not get lucky there. Is it even enough to kill the boy? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. This is what matters. Uh, solution. Solution has been achieved. There you go. Now two guardians. It's absolutely nothing. It does nothing to me. Don't really care about melees because they have freaking artifacts. So just do as much, much uh, damage as possible. Defend that. All good. Do I have energy for a malaise? It would have been nice just to take the artifact away. Of course, you know, this is a little painful. Eh, we could prevent ourselves 7 damage with this fire potion. Why not? The answer to why not is, well, maybe you want to save it for a more dire situation. But you know what? We were doing pretty well. So I'm going to malaise you just to eliminate that stupid artifact. This fight is already resolved. Is uh, no... Oops, no threat. Go away, go away. There. No threat situation with one guardian. Once you get that preserved insect, it's like, how many elite fights can I cram into into my ascent? That's pretty much it. Alrighty. Let's keep on doing 
the thing. Um, as we continue going up on Sension levels, this game is getting idiotically tough. More of mobbing. Oh, yeah. Still chaos. Nice stuff. I am feeling, I'm feeling a uh, horrible dearth of offense. I do not do enough damage with this deck right now. So definitely want something that I can do more damage. This bouncing flags, flask is okay. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh boy. Let me just dash you, neutralize you. Uh, prevent myself two points of damage? Sure. Take zero damage. That's it. With the current deck that I have, most encounters I'm going to be like, how can I take zero damage at all times? That will be my main objective. Objective completed. Uh, yeah, we can do the split. Just do the split. There you go. It's going to become a filthy blub. And now I already regret it. <laughs> Still chaos. It could, I mean, it could save me. Basically, it takes me eight, right? So the steel eight chaos is not guaranteed, of course. A backflip and a cloak and dagger basically saves me eight. Do it. Nice. Good stuff. I really didn't want to die a horrible death to the blobs. There. Sure, sure. Zero man malaise. That's where, that's where it's at right now. Uh of a waste to throw it at the first blob so let's throw it at the second blob gotta love my slay the spire blobs they're my favorite type of enemy just blob who wants to kill you that is the description of half of the enemies and we get our distilled chaos back everything according to plan well i just established that we want more damage so there's a dagger throw right there an upgrade we have 40 health we're going to be fine let's smith Probably a cloak and dagger here. What else is there? That's six damage burst. Probably the stash. It's 12 poison instead of three, um, instead of nine. Dash is probably the best, right? Cloak and dagger is awesome. But, um, dash is right now the best card in my deck, I believe. So carry on to the question mark where we just find more danger. Mmm. Definitely start there. That is nine, and that's enough. So that will be one more strike. Can we maybe draw a neutralize or the? I was hoping to draw the um, draw, draw the curse. Well, that's fine. These fellas are pathetic, and I want them all to die a horrendous, horrendous death. I'm also very salty right now. Oh no, it's, it's a defense. I'm like, uh, I think. You know what? We're going to go. Let's see. You? No beta art. They're kind of hard to distinguish. The, the art is a little. It's a little uh, similar. To, so it's getting me a little confused. Found the flask on his noggin and he is dead. Beautiful. Good first level. Really liking this so far. Um, better than drawing three. The strength potion. Probably, right? I really like the still chaos. I don't think that we need the swift potion right here. Here's new whale or caltrops. This is a hell of a choice here. We're facing the weirdo guardian guy. Caltrops is better. Piercing whale is defense. I was just saying that we don't have enough to often. Let's just go with caltrops. It's scaling damage. It's, it's good. I know one of you fellows, huh? You're a little disturbing trying to stop me from ascending to this place. Oh yeah, just all those zero damage, zero cost attacks. Good stuff. I am a little concerned about how life will progress once we get to Ascension 20s. Like, how many are going to be successful runs and how many are going to just be miserable? A second dash or well-laid plans. Hmm, well, well laid plans allows me to keep the dash for when it's useful, right? So that's the rationale there. So, do I respect this boy enough not to smith here? I think I'm going to take the risk and just smith. I don't have a whole lot of damage, though. But we do have the bouncing flask. I think against this guy, the bouncing flask is perhaps the best thing that we've got. 
because it's the one damage that doesn't do, uh, you know, doesn't attack, so I can use it against the armor face. So let's see how it goes. It's all gonna be just fine. Nice, we got a well laid plans, and we might want to just start with malaise right here. Lose two strength, apply a weak. Just two damage. Malaise shall come later. Probably should have used my strength potion to begin with, huh? Huh? That would have probably been a good idea. Let's just use it now. I know it is, let's say, suboptimal. Yeah, we'll keep my lace. Actually, next turn, we want to do as much damage as possible. And Cloak and Dagger, I think, is a better better keep here. I don't know if I have enough damage here. So that's 23. Caltrops, Endless Agony. So that's 12. 12, that's 24. And dagger throw will do it. Yeah, I'll, I definitely have enough. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to feel really freaking dumb. I do have enough. All right, I will discard. I guess this defend. And we're done with the poison. He's going to go into shield mode. Should be fine. We'll keep those cal traps because I do want to use them as soon as possible. Now it's just basically all defense, right? I really hate this face. I don't like it at all. 20 uh, defense, so there's just no reason to do anything. We'll keep this Endless Agony. No, that makes no sense. I think I want to keep this Endless Agony because I don't want to... Ah, we'll draw it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, we'll just get double the Endless Agony later on. Definitely using that Neutralize. This dash is definitely happening. So I guess that's the turn, huh? Do that. Get 11 block. That pays for itself, and now, do I dare, or do I simply, I'll just, I'll suffer no damage whatsoever. How about that? Do you like that? I'll suffer no damage whatsoever. I endorse that objective. No damage for me. Well, this melee's completely neutralize you right now. Excuse me, excuse me. I eliminated three. Oh, because you could, you were weakened. I see. It didn't go down all the way, but that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, we'll do Endless Agony. I think we need that damage output. And we need the damage to trigger the the nonsense. Give me a Bouncing Flask. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. This Bouncing Flask is going to solve this, this fight. It would have been kind of painful to get through this fight without it. I think I want to trigger it. Oh, I have no choice. I have no energy. So I definitely want to keep that cloak and dagger. Next that turn, he's going to attack me for damage. So do that. More bouncing flasks. Always helpful. That would be fantastic. I keep getting to this point where endless agony is like the worst because he's going to just do damage to me. If I draw endless flask, I'm, I mean a bouncing flask, it's not going to... To work the way I want it now because I won't have the energy for it, so I think I'll just defend. And defend, and then spend. Actually, ooh. fool! You fool! Too much defense. I should have spent the ship actually now that I think about it. Um, next turn is just lots of damage, so we're going to go do the backflip. This fight it's just a matter of getting enough poison into his veins to wreck him do i want this backflip we'll grab a neutralize but i don't really care for that neutralize we'll just defend here keep the backflip so then i can draw the zero cost cards this guy is dead this guy is super dead mm, pretty good about this fight not gonna lie pretty damn great we're, we're winners sure Winners against the Guardian, very, very nice. Uh, was it, is this the name, the Guardian? I don't know, but... Ooh, bullet time. Ooh, glass knife. I have had some great success with glass knife. I mean, it's just damage, you know? It's just a nice, high damage attack up front. Bullet time. Is it good, though? Bullet time will allow me to do dash and bouncing flask. In the same turn. I don't have enough draw, I think. Like, my hand size can't really justify bullet time. But the other two choices are lackluster. They're decent. Hmm. 
Yeah. Bullet time with bouncing flash, bullet time with dash. It's basically letting go of card advantage in exchange of playing more things in one turn. I can't go wrong with bullet time. Come on. Come on. You can't go wrong with bullet time. I really want Sozu. I do like my potions. Plus an elite combat is getting energy on the start of your turn. Is it Slave's Collar? Or is it just the Sozu? Potions kind of save my anus so often. It's like, do I want to let go of them? Do we care that much about having extra energy in regular fights? Let's go with this Laver's Collar because that's when energy really matters. When you're fighting the elites and the bosses. That is what I just told myself anyway, just to, to not give myself a terrible downside. Hmm, definitely want to be a sh being to a shop soon enough. Since we have the preserved insect, I want many elite fights. I don't have AoE right now though, so, and you know, the Act 2 elites, it's most of it. Like two out of three. It's be big AoE fights. I always forget the third elite. It, I always remember the goblin dude, the, the, the goblin leader. I remember the slavers. What's the third elite fight in Act 2? I always forget it. <laughs> it's weird. It's just not that memorable, I guess. Anyway, definitely want to shop. But if we go that way, there's no campsites. Actually, there's no campsites anywhere until that one right there. If you, how about this path right here? I kind of like it. There's two elites. Lots of campsites, as opposed to the others where there's two elites. And that's it. Oh, this one has three elites. It's a little too much, though. This one's pretty good. That's not going to work out, though. And the only way to go from here, and, but there's no shop in this path, so that kind of discards it. We'll probably go this way. Get into... Either one of these is fine, because we uh, we can choose then later to go to the campsite if you are not feeling great, and probably we'll go through here, get into one of these elites, then go into these campsites, and then do and do, do that elite. Feeling pretty confident in this choice. Neutralized. All right. So do we want to malaise this piece of garbage? Probably. We can cloak and dagger malaise. There you go. Neat. It's a good start. Minus two strength to this piece of garbage. I don't know if I wanted that. Uh, cow traps. I'm not feeling great about those cow traps. This guy doesn't attack you all that often. Very happy that we get an easy ass turn. Easy ass turn. I am getting dazed forever. So I'm not liking that. We'll just spend all our endless agony. It's just it, coming out of my heart. I am full of pain. I am so damn emo. I cannot take it. So that's 10 damage if I don't backflip. I don't want to, you know, get... This is basically eliminate daisies from your deck. Defend yourself a little bit. That's about it. Not very happy about it. We'll take a little bit of pain here. It's not that huge deal. It's another daze. It's annoying as hell. Uh, I guess I'm doing dagger throw. Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> what is going on with this hand? This is the problem, though. Like, but that's why I was saying earlier. We don't have a whole lot of, of uh, draw. So our hands are not going to be amazing. To use with bullet time. There you go. That's, that's good enough. Uh, I think bouncing flask is the best thing that we have going for ourselves right now. See if we can support that Bouncing Flask. Mm, none of these do what I want them to do. Which is... Actually, Riddle Will Holes is pretty decent with... It's pretty decent. With Bullet Time Heal Hook, we do have the enemy weakened quite often. I don't really like it very much, though. It's so low damage. And it uh, has that conditional... Riddle will riddle with holes, good enough for this. It's good bullet time, but I already have some high cost cards. And it's just like 15 damage, hooray! It's no strength anywhere. I think I'm going to skip these. Not not terribly pleased. Let's see what we can do. 
in the shop. Bronze scales, big fan. They really add up, those bronze scales. Getting those thorns really, really nicely. Oof, ginger is good. <laughs> it's really expensive, though. But not being weakened is super great. Is it better than bronze scales plus sling of courage plus something else? By the way, is there any anything good that I want to buy here? Not really. Sucker punch is decent, but I think we're too late into the run to go for a sucker punch right now. Cal another caltrops always welcome. These are permanent caltrops. I think we don't need this ginger. I was always not a fan of them gingers. I like to beat them up and put them in lockers. So I think I'll pass on the ginger. What do we want to re remove here? Probably remove a defender. Uh, probably remove a defender is better at this point. Ah, oh, let's do the math. 173. 273, 333, 338, which means that we can remove a... Yeah, okay, we'll do both of these and remove a defend. There you go. That is my choice. I'm sticking with it. Ginger is fantastic. I don't know if it's better than having these two. Really are... Uh, ooh, hell yeah, upgrade all strikes and defense. This, this, is this is amazing. One of the best events that you can possibly ask for. Hell yeah, give me that ritual dagger. Oh, baby. Um, health total. I think we can do this guy. I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We'll be just fine. Transform. Huh? I don't know if I want to transform an improved strike or an improved defend. We might transform this survivor here. I don't really want to discard anything. Uh, it's always nice to be able to discard a, a burn, you know. do it choke meh with endless agony is pretty good this is labors just do damage to the last boy oh boy bullet time let's see is it even worth it no, i can play everything with that bullet time more more <laughs> i think we definitely want to get some potions going here distill chaos what you got probably it's a great idea to use this distill chaos right now Got a choke going on. Okay, so this guy needs to die. Lots of defense. Fantastic. This guy will die. Then I'm just going to unload my entire hand, right? And now it actually matters to use this bullet time. Lovely plants. There's a ritual dagger right there, but can I... Yeah, I can definitely kill this fellow. With a ritual dagger. There you go. Nice. And then a strike over there. Wow, what a what a fight! <laughs> what an elite fight! This was slightly one-sided. Damn! It was more than I thought I could possibly ask for. Oh, it's amazing. And just the bouncing flask and just defend defend. I don't even need to backflip here. We'll keep it though. I mean this guy's is dead meat. That was the most one-sided stealth OP fight I've ever had. That was insanity. More endless agony. We do have that choke now. I mean, more endless iron is improved too. So, I mean, escape plan is decent, but we kind of do need that extra extra damage there. Endless agony is going to help out right here. Look at that. Look at my endless agony immediately making itself useful. Uh, you must die. Get you down. Mm. Definitely want to dash. Those thorns are. Look at that. Look at that. Pain, pain for yourself already. Amazing. I don't think I have enough attacks, right? No, I don't. But if we draw another endless agony, we did it. It's all good. Don't want to use it actually. I think I just wanted to. I wanted to go into the draw pile, get some more endless agony. <laughs> it never ends. It's just pain. The birds are immediately destroyed by my thorns. 18 damage. Can I do it? We can throw a shiv. Count the ritual dagger, beautiful stuff. Uh, I I kind of prioritize the wrong thing though. Okay, this guy's just gonna kill himself, right? They're both gonna kill themselves. So if I do that, it's just both of them suicide. Hey, wonderful, <laughs> idiots! 
I really want this deadly poison, but you can never go wrong with having one piercing whale in your deck. So I'm going to go for that. And, you know, uh, seeing the experience of the Elite Five that we had, I'm going to go for this one. I, I always forget you. I always forget you, Book of Stabbing. But you do indeed exist. So this does means that he's going to go down to three times two, and then we can probably will go down two times two with this malaise. Is it worth it, though? Or will I rather just do damage? I think this is worth it in the long run. So let's just throw it right now. Yeah, two times, you know, suffer four damage is okay. I think that's a decent investment. Let's do death upon my enemy. Well lay plans shall prevail. Yeah. Look at dagger and strike and ship. I actually get to backflip. Maybe we get some endless agony here. What would be a waste? The ritual dagger, maybe? Sure, just do that. What time? Not that big a deal. Actually, we can keep it. Forget. What lay plans? Fantastic stuff. This guy is just, is just dead. Amazing. We can even end with a ritual dagger. Oh, I don't think it's enough, is it? Ah, oh, it sucks. It's not going to be enough. See ya. Unfortunate. But, you know. Okay, but man, 15 damage. I, <laughs> of all the things that I had, it actually was a terrible turn because we did not draw defense. What you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it now? Hmm. Yeah, we definitely have enough damage. Now the question is... Man, did I let go of too much defense or something? Because we've had a few turns without any defense whatsoever. It's two turns without any defense. I know that he's dead, but I was like, can I make it so that I can last until the ritual dagger is back? The answer is no. So, I mean, without taking a lot... Oh, nice. Vladra is very nice. Uh... Oh, yeah, noxious fumes. The other two are garbage. It's in the middle of saying something. Maybe we need more defense. Pen Niv, sure. I, I'm a big fan of Pen Niv. It's a relic that makes you think more about your turns. It's a fun time. Can I afford to choke a bitch? Or is it all defense here not to get totally destroyed? We do have to neutralize. And the defend will do a decent amount of damage. I do want these noxious fumes, though. I think I uh, think about choke. Oh, this uh, receiving unblocked attack damage, so it does not take out the plater armor when the choke damage happens. Hmm. I think I want to just do the noxious fumes, not choke. Let's see. It will be chuck noxious fumes and neutralize, and then I get no defense at all. All right, just use this defend. Do that. Definitely the neutralize goes here. Can I take out the annoying ass armor? I think not. Strike and neutralize and then defense. We still receive a little more damage than I'm comfortable with, though. We could backflip. Do that. Yeah, that's some angle is agony. That's nice it means that we can actually chip away at the armor mm, do i still want to just defend though be a total bitch mm, feels like a waste of this endless agony to use it here just to do seven damage to the weirdo look this this, this turn it takes some thinking okay don't judge me I think it's okay taking a little bit of damage here. I mean, we're not doing great. We could die. Let's do that. Do a little bit of damage, take out that one bit. And this defense needs to happen, I think. I'm not feeling great. I might even use the potion. Because the damage coming in is just too much. Bullet time, absolute worst time. We did not even cast... The thorns, so it's basically a waste. Stick out the armor. Do that damage. I mean, what else can I do? There's nothing I can do about it. Not a ton of damage coming, so 
And the thorns are really going to help out. Uh, I'm a little concerned about our health total. It's a little, a little iffy going on here. <clears throat> Maybe we should have spent that potion to begin with. We, are, we do have the toy ornithopter. Do I dare to ritual dagger over there? I think this ritual dagger just needs to happen to kill this thing. Just throw it there just to do the damage. Do I have enough? Let's see, 22. He is at uh, 51. 22. 27. F uh, 37. 47. Exactly enough, isn't it? Let's do the math again. I don't want to miss this. Oh, plus 3 with the po poison. 27. 37. 47. 52. He is at... 51 minus 3. Yeah, we have enough here. Do, 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 do. Probably should run dagger throw first. Uh, we'll discard. Defend, I suppose. Oh, the pen nib. Amazing. Wonderful. It was the right choice to defend earlier. I'm pretty great. Get poisoned, you piece of garbage. I hate you. Oh, pierce your earballs. I hate everything that you represent. Disgusting. Uh, Fungus. Mmm, terror. You can never go wrong with one terror, right? There you go. I'm feeling a little bloated here. Definitely want to rest. We do have the regal pillow, so this rest should last for the entirety of the, of the entire rest of the thingamabobber. Let's go to the shop. Hopefully we can just buy a potion. <laughs> Apply four poison and two weak to all enemies. A footwork, though. Too bad about that apotheosis. The boot? Oh no, I can't afford the boot. I can no longer win. More endless agony. Cannot have enough agony. Probably just the footwork. Think about my deck right now. No sustainable defense. Like it's just draw defense and hope for the best. That's bad. What does this deck need right now? I think you could definitely use this crippling, crippling cloud. But what it needs is having big hands. I need bigger hands. These hands are too tiny. Which means you probably want an acrobatics instead of the crippling way over the footwork. Because I have no way to draw them reliably. And we are trying to draw for Endless Agony to synergize with Choke, to synergize with uh, the other thing that I forget right now. <laughs> you know... Uh, having another dash would also be helpful, but I think this acrobatics is where it's at. With all the things that we, we have right now, actually we can both acrobatics and crippling cloud. I think that was an okay purchase. Let's go into this elite fight and hopefully I will not be utterly destroyed. But this piece of garbage. No choke, huh? Mm. Maybe this backflip will do it. Start with a backflip. Hope for no more endless agony. We want to draw a choke. More endless agony. Okay, well, not a big deal. That's too bad, though. Now we can just crippling cloud and just spread the pain. Spread the pain. Actually, I am 100% immune to all the things that are happening here. Uh, definitely want... To throw some of this endless agony out. Get rid of the unupgraded ones, but I think I'm okay just letting these go back into the draw pile. Uh, so we can maybe synergize with them later. I mean, his uh, health is pretty damn low. We could probably just. Yeah, probably we can just kill this guy, right? In a couple turns. I'm defending by this guy. Ah, he is defending them. I should have made sure that they died. Noxious fumes, though. At the start of your turn. Not good enough. I'm a little, co a little concerned right now. <laughs> not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Maybe we can duplicate malaise and throw it over there. And that would actually reduce him to nothing. I will eat 12 though. What can we draw here that we can... I mean, actually, if we draw... 
if we draw the um, endless agony and or the dagger we're gonna win we did not draw ah but piercing whale saving my anus oh yeah baby let's go out uh for all this defend because the piercing whale goes out and he gets down to f excuse me excuse me they're weakened, so the number doesn't go down linearly. Oh, that sucks. Uh, if I realized that, I wouldn't have done it the way I did it. I would not, definitely would not have thrown out the... Um, what's it called? Would not have thrown out the defend. Now I'm taking damage that I shouldn't be taking. Not a huge deal, but... I mean, 3 times 3 is still a decent amount of, of damage there. Yeah. I guess we can malaise. Yeah. Let's eliminate that damage at least. Uh, that was a mistake. I should have kept the defend and it would have solved this this turn. But I did not need to take that damage that I just took. Unfortunate, but not a huge problem. Is that? Get rid of that. Here's the ritual dagger for you. Get absolutely destroyed. Gambling chip. Fantastic. We can make some really sweet combos with this gambling chip. Just choke on 20 endless agony. That would be pretty neat. So right now, what am I saying? I said earlier. We want big hands. We need draw. We need... Oh, why, why a store? Why a store? Why do you have to do this to me? I can't afford any of these things. You stupid piece of garbage. I think I want full health for this. What do I have to smith that I will be like, man, I really need to smith this. Noxious fumes. That's about it. Cloak and dagger would be nice, but we kind of did not go for shivs at all. I think against the champion, we're going to just get go full health against this weirdo. Give me that power push. Actually, no, we have the ornithopter. Oh, there's the choke. He is not even attacking. We definitely want this bouncing flash, though. So, all of this. Discard it. Give me all of the endless agony, please. All of the agony. No, not a whole lot, but decent enough. I'm gonna choke a bitch. I think I want to even duplicate it. This is a ton of damage. I think I'm going to live to regret this. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not using the toy ornithopter. I mean, is it worth the waste? It will be a lot of damage. It will be uh, 26 and then... 26 out of this, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 6, 36, so that's 70, plus the actual damage of these, it will be a good 100 and something, if I duplicate the choke. Look, I'm gonna do it. You may disagree with it, but I'm gonna do it. As much damage as possible, bouncing class as well. All the endless agony has been spent. Was that worth it? Now that I think about it, eh, I don't know. <laughs> but it was a good time. It's a great time. We can malaise this piece of garbage. Maybe start with cloak and dagger, then malaise. Or maybe I want to save this for the really fat attack later on. I definitely want to put on the Caltrops, though. Hmm. Let's save Malaise for later. Although, I won't have that many chances to use it. Like, later we're going to be scrambling to survive. Definitely want the Caltrops. Let's see if we can draw a little bit more defense. Discard me. Uh, what the Endless Agony? That's nice to have it for later. We'll take a little damage, I think, here. These Noxious Fumes are important to throw out. Alrighty. I mean, if we don't take any damage, the Ornithopter will not be useful. Man, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I would love to get a Pendiv on this, which we can. I kind of need to use my Piercing Whale here. It's very annoying. Now's the time for the Power Potion. I, I don't feel... Great. How about this? Another Caltrops, huh? This piece of garbage is gonna kill himself. 
I don't think this is going to scale very much because he takes away his po potion. His poison. I think another Caltrops is fine. Well, there's not much of a choice here, but I think this piercing whale. It's it's a massive amount of damage. I can't take it. I can't take that kind of damage. I can't do it. It's only going to re reduce it by six, though. This guy might kill me. He might kill me horrendously. And I think I need to use this 56. Uh, uh, this is my highest damage attack. I'm okay exhausting it. It's going to take away half my health pool. Piercing Whale, though, I think it will be more useful later. I hate this. I hate everything about it. Ow! <laughs> that was awful. Hey, terror. Oh, maybe I should have saved it for, you know, when, when he does the big fat annoying th super attack. What late plans? Hopefully going to save my anus. Uh, I guess we'll choke a bitch. Then cloak and dagger for a shiv. Not much else I can do. Definitely keeping this piercing whale forever. Oh boy, here he comes. 33 times 2. <laughs> That's too much. It's too much. Thankfully we had to neutralize. Piercing whale. And neutralize. It's going to save my anus for this turn. Uh, definitely want to draw some defense, please. That would be amazing. Discard one of these endless agonies so we continue drawing them. But maybe I want to s exhaust them all. I think I do want to exhaust them all. And we'll keep the bouncing flask, which means. I will throw out the endless agony. Definitely this defense, defense needs to happen. Too bad about the bouncing flask. I really could use throwing it out, but I'm a little concerned. Ooh, Pendiv is activated, but we don't really have a fat damage attack for Pendiv anymore. Holy crap, man. That's too much. It's too much. Malaise, you're not good enough. Crippling Cloud, he's already weakened. We need to draw defense or bust. So please save me. A backflip. Bullet time. One turn too late. This death, isn't it? Malaise, is it enough? 20? We have 20 health. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, do you make it? Do you make it? This... The champ is too hard. It's just too hard. I can't do nothing. It's not too hard. It's just... What did I say earlier? Like, we don't really have a way to defend ourselves reliably. And this is what happened. When we needed defense, we didn't have it. And then there you go. Having that extra Caltrops maybe uh, made all the difference of, of actually dying. Ah, wrong choices somewhere. Wrong choices somewhere. Nothing I could do about it anymore. I might just go back and watch it again and see where where was the actual mistake. We didn't need the, those extra caltrops. I guess the champion. Maybe I should have seen like it's the champion. You need to be able to have this burst defense. Was it maybe not? No, we rested. Hmm. Just. Luck of the draw. It was not a mistake that I made. It was just bad RNG. See you guys in the next one. Until then, just tear the champion to pieces at some point.